going on my super sandwiches rhyme style here and today bringing some more dragon ball zeros to news in regards to dlc pack 6 and yes once again i'm late on this i know i wasn't going to cover it but they keep doing this they keep releasing information in regards to dlc pack 6 where it's mostly old news and then one tiny speck of news that makes the kind of video worthy i wasn't going to do it but i was like you know what screw it because some of you guys might have missed out on it so here it is all the information you need to know in regards to dlc pack 6 now as of right now it is still allegedly coming out around february slash after february the press release said february but again i don't really know because it's not fully confirmed but it seems to be like that's the release window but as far as the news let's get into that information first now if you guys remember my last rant i mentioned how angel 17 was going to get added as part of the paid update and the small rant i had around that was whether or not he was going to be unique because if they're going to release exactly the same angel 17 that's already in the game just with a different outfit that would have been <clears throat> bs Bullshit! It would have been, been garbage. It would have been absolute garbage. But we get confirmation that Android 17, the Ranger version that's going to be released in DLC Pack 6, will be a brand new Android 17 with a brand new fighting style, which is actually really good news. Now, I don't know to what extent he's going to be unique. For all we know, he might be more of the Frost treatment, where like half of his combos and strings are unique and the rest are kind of old. Have no idea, but this claims that it's going to be a brand new fighting style, which is good news. If they were re seriously released a Android 17 reskin, essentially, that would have been garbage because you got to pay for this. If it was free update, fine. But this is part of the paid update. So the fact that they confirmed that he is going to be unique, that's a good thing. Also, as far as Jiren, it says, Jiren is a member of the Pride Troopers and the strongest warrior from Universe 11. He has a special move such as he has special moves such as meditation and power rush, which no other character can contain. Angel 17 has a new ability, which allows him to absorb attacks as well as brand new fighting style, which we just talked about. As far as Jiren, I don't really know what to say about him just because I don't really know what meditation or power rush is going to do. But it is interesting for him to say that no other characters can contain. So I don't know like what that's going to do as far as balancing. Because the other thing I'll point out is Jiren... Based on how much uh, key and stamina he has, looks like he's going to be a very dangerous DLC character. I feel like, I I kind of feel like he's going to replace essentially Hit and Super Saiyan Blue Goku as far as the most top tier characters in the game. And I mean, I it would make sense because it's Jiren we're talking about. But at the same time, he does sound terrifying. And with how Dragon Ball Z Universe lacks uh, balance, I should say, I feel like that could be both a good and bad thing as far as the online, you know ecosystem it could be good because if you had another super powerful character it's going to add another way to balance amongst the super powerful characters in the game already but it could also completely throw off everything because if, if the online version of the game just ends up being jiren 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 that could get frustrating unless you know you learn how to counter them so i don't really know again I, it's hard to really judge these brand new characters if we have no information as far as visuals and gameplay and yada 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 but for now he seems very promises and it, promising excuse me can't speak he seems very promising on top of that he seems like he's going to be giving everybody the hands the second he's released in DLC Pack 6. Now, as far as the rest of the paid update, we still have no idea what's inside it. But again, looking at the last five DLC packs, it's going to be the same setup usually. New attacks, new costumes, new characters. And now with this one, we're also going to get a brand new story mode as well. Or story mode expansion. I don't want to say full story mode. Just an expansion, which is going to have a couple of new missions featuring the story of Fu and yada, yada, yada. So keep that in mind. I don't know why. We're like six DLC packs deep now, but it's still always confusion between like, oh, is this free? Is this paid? This part is paid. You're paying for... Jiren, Android 17, the two other characters, the story mode, and new attacks, yada, yada, yada. But there's also a free update that's going to add some cool content for those who don't want to pay for DLC Pack 6, which we'll talk about in a couple seconds. As far as what else is in DLC Pack 6, the paid version, again, the paid version, I have no idea yet. I mean, they did mention, uh, or I should say tease, they did tease a brand new transformation with Goku, which, which could be none other than Ultra Instinct. But I also want to point out that the next day when Bandai Euro posted that, they took that uh, article down from their own website. So I don't know if they were trying to cover it up, but they made a mistake. We have no idea yet. That's up in the air. But we do know that Fu is the third character. At least I hope and assume. They did say he's going to be playable, so it only makes sense that he is the third character. So when we get more information about that, we'll talk about it then. But for now, it's kind of all cryptic. And until we actually get closer to February slash the actual release of this DLC, we have no idea what to expect. Again, my biggest thing with DLC Pack 6 and the Xenor series in general is it doesn't really matter if the game still has the issues as far as netcode and stuff like that. I, I still stand by my rant. The rant that I made in my last video, which if you want to go watch that, by all means go for it, I still stand by that. No matter how awesome DLC Pack 6 is, if that comes out and there's still the same issues with hit detections and problems online, it's going to literally be a kick in the ball. So it's like, I don't know what to expect. So until I actually play myself, which I won't know how it's going to play until the DLC actually comes out, I don't know what to expect. But just keep that in mind that no matter how awesome DLC Pack 6 is, it could still be garbage because the netcode sucks. So... Keep that in mind. Now, as far as the free update, and again, this part is free. They release these free packs when they release a, a compatibility patch 
somewhere right before the release of actual DLC Pack 6. As far as the free update, we talked about briefly about a thing called Over Limit Mode, and the English translations officially called this Limit Burst. The way I thought about Limit Burst, it felt more like a Sparking Blast system or like an X Factor that we saw in Dragon Ball Fighters and in the Marvel series. They didn't really say what it was going to be in V Jump, but we have a little bit of information inside the most recent release as far as DLC Pack 6, and it says Limit Burst is a new battle system that can be used once per battle. Players can dramatically increase their ability temporarily depending on the number of members in the enemy team. The type of boost will also differ based on the fighter. Some characters may power up their team members, while some may lower the stats of the opponent. Now, I'm gonna be honest with you, I still have no idea what that means or which direction they're going for with the release of this limited burst system in Dragon Ball Z Universe 2. Now, initially, when I read about it in Avija, my first thought was, oh, this sounds like potentially Sparking Blast or X Fact in the Marvel series. And if you have no idea what that is, essentially, it's a comeback mechanic that you can do once per fight. Both players have it, the longer you wait to activate it, the more effective it is, and it can be a comeback mechanic in a game like Dragon Ball Xenoverse. Let's say you're down to 3v1, and you activate Sparking Blast, you could come back and win that fight still. Like, that's how useful it actually is. But based on reading this, every character's Sparking Blast, or I should say Limit Burst, Limit Burst is completely different. I mean, we see the image with Goku on the screen right now, and it shows Attack Up and Key Auto Recovery. Which could be dangerous! I mean, this game has death combos, and I wonder like how much of an attack boost you actually get. Like, will it be enough where like, you activate it and you do one combo and you win, or or what? But then again, we don't know how it's going to affect other characters. I mean, other characters might get a defense boost, other characters, as you guys say, are going to uh, allow your opponent to lose stats, yada yada yada. It's going to be an interesting mechanic, but the question is, is how well will that balance across the board, or will it be effective at all? And like I said, I have no idea yet. I also want to point out that it does say that based on how many team members your opponent has, it shows how much more effective it is. My first thought was, oh, well, it will be only available in team-based play, but the answer is no, because in the image you see on the screen, you see Goku versus Krillin in the 1v1, and he's able to activate it. So I just assumed that if it's a 1v1 setup, it's not as effective as if it would be in a 1v3 or a 3v3, yada, yada, yada. I mean, it sounds cool in 3v3. I mean, imagine it's like 3v1, your team got completely destroyed, and you're the last one alive against three people. You bust out your limit burst, and you get that comeback mechanic. That would be super hype. But again, at the same time, it's just like, what does that mean for battles? Like, what exactly will you be able to, be able to do with it? And to that, I have no idea, because like I said, until I see gameplay, it's really hard to judge it. But it does sound cool. So in the comment section below, let me know your thoughts on Limit Burst and your biggest fears with it. Like, is it a good idea, a bad idea? Yada, yada, yada. Feel free to discuss it down below. And while we're at it, let's talk about also what are some cool stat plus and stat reductions that we could see with Limit Burst. So for example, stuff like, I want to see lower speeds from my opponent. Feel free to discuss that down below as well. I wonder how dangerous it could become, because my first thought was, what if they have like a limit burst that reduces attack or key? Which reminds me of the Super Souls, or the Z Souls I should say, in Z Minus 1 for Super Saiyan Blue, Goku, and Vegeta. Those were dangerous. I hope that we don't see any of that, because that could be a, a complete game changer that would change the meta completely with the addition of limit burst. But I doubt they will do that. We're probably only going to see stuff like attack up, defense up, speed up, speed down, yada, 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 and then some kind of effect like up with stamina or up with key recovery and yada yada yada, stuff like that. So I don't think we'll see like super crazy stuff, but then again, I have no idea. Feel free to discuss that down below as well. Now as far as the other free update, as you guys know, Super Saiyan Blue will be coming for the Saiyan race and you do not have to buy that. Once again, you don't have to buy this part of the DLC Pack 6. It is free. The Lumen Burst is going to be free, Super Saiyan Blue will be free, and the 18 of Videl swimsuit costumes will be part of the free update as well. You'd be surprised how many times I get questions with the release of every single DLC pack in the Xenoverse series, people asking me what's paid and what's free. So for the love of God, if you see anybody asking any questions in regards to that, please help me out and answer it. And to kind of cover it once again, the paid part of DLC pack 6, which you're going to have to pay for with real money, consists of Jiren, a brand new and unique Android 17, Fu, a new story mode, which is going to consist of, I guess, Fu's story, which they haven't really gone into details yet, but a new story featuring Fu, a fourth unique character, which they have not revealed yet technically, but Bandai Europe did tease and say the new transformation for Goku, so it's assumed it's Ultra Instant Goku, but we get actual details for that later. We'll talk about it then. Um, we're also going to get new costumes, new attacks, yada, yada, yada. That's all going to be part of the paid update. As far as the free update, they'll probably release some new attacks as well, like always. Maybe a couple of costumes. We're going to get a brand new Android 18 and Videl outfit. You're going to get this new Limit Burst system, which we just talked about. And Super Saiyan Blue for the Saiyan Race. I think the biggest problem here is how Bandai's been releasing this brand new information. Like, one week they will literally release information saying like, Oh, we got Jiren in 17, and you think, oh, well 17 is already in the game, so clearly he's going to be free. Not revealing he's going to be unique. Then like a week later, they reveal that he is unique, therefore you know he's going to be paid. Then another week they talk about a new mechanic in Super Saiyan Blue, and they just don't really 
confirm what's what. But usually like a week before they actually release the new DLC packs, they do break down what's free and what's paid. And when that happens, I'll have like a separate video breaking down what to expect as far as the free update total and what to expect as far as the paid update if you're not paying for it. By the way, I do want to point out that it does say that DLC Pack 6 is going to be $16.99. Which is interesting. And the reason why, if you guys remember when DLC Pack 5 came out, originally they intended to sell for 20 bucks, but then they reduced it for 10. But along with that, they released like a set, and the set consists of DLC Pack 5 and 6 when it comes out, and they sold that for $16.99. So essentially, if you bought the set, you're getting a really good deal. You're getting DLC Pack 5 and 6 for as cheap as possible. Otherwise, if you buy it separately, you're talking about paying like $27 for both packs. So you're saving 10 bucks this way. So if you have not bought the DLC Pack 5 and 6 set, Go get it right now, because I don't know if that's a mistake or what, but as of right now, me recording this video, you can see it on the screen as well, the set is being sold for $16.99, but DLC 6 is being promoted as a pack for $16.99 as well. So again, I don't know if that was intended like that or what, but if you buy it, I guess you don't have to worry about it. So I do recommend you guys get that pack right now before they correct it if it is an actual issue, because I have no idea. I mean, I asked them, but they have no idea yet, so keep that in mind. So DLC pack 6 is intended to be sold for $16.99, or you get the set for $16.99 and get DLC Pack 5 along with it. So it's up to you guys. But the second it comes out and we get more information, it's going to be a lot easier to break it down. But for now, just feel free to connect the puzzle pieces together as much as possible because that's all we really have at this point. Anyways, with that said, if you're excited for DLC Pack 5 feel free, or 6, I should say, feel free to discuss it down below. Let me know which characters you're most excited to play as between Jiren Fu, Ultra Instinct Goku, and 17. And any other questions you have, feel free to ask down below as well. But other than that, the second I find out more information, I got you back. Make sure you stay tuned and subscribe. Leave a like in the comments, and we'll take it from there. I hope you guys enjoyed today. My name is Ryan Style, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.